Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Welcome, everyone, on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And hopefully, given the day, we're in for a treat of a match. It's Saint-Étienne, and they take on Strasbourg. Well, all I can say is that now you're in the commentary booth, you can take the mask off, Derek. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't want to frighten anyone. Well, this is the team that Saint-Étienne will go with. Well, in this 4-5-1, they're packing their midfield, but the two wide players will almost play as out-and-out -out wingers. However, it's important they do get runners from central areas to support the centre-forward. That's going to be key. And here's how Strasbourg will line up. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And now they get the ball rolling. Nice looking pass. Now oh, good run this. Now what can he do with it? Well it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. A useful cross clears it away Patu Binsika here's Patu Binsika oh in with a chance he's gone that guilt-edged opportunity. Well, sometimes in these 1v1 scenarios, you have too much time to think about it. He should do better for me, though. Well, he's lost it. Rather congested in the middle of the park. A really good pass. A tremendous vision. I'd be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. That's a good ball. He's in here. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. He's lost it. And 
Mu effect. Well, this could really help the cause. And the keeper taking it cleanly. Dylan Bakwa. Well, standing off them here, aren't they being too passive? Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? Giving it a try. A corner will ensue. Who's going to get on the end of it? In the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. They couldn't maintain possession. Who can he pick out? It's still alive, but no, that's the end of the move because offside is the verdict. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Mathieu Cafaro. Might be able to get in behind the defence. To give them the advantage. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Diara. He's enjoying space. No possibilities in the centre. Superbly read and executed. Cafaro. Well read to win possession back. And he has options available. Superb effort to keep it in. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. And space to cross it. Right towards the near post. Ah, goalkeeper's ball. Not the best of crosses, really, was it? Equa. And it's with Apia. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. And the intention was to let the play flow, but no real advantage forthcoming, and now a free kick. And he takes it away. And just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match.
So back underway here into the second half. Ismael Ducouré. Davi Jashvili. Good use of advantage by the referee. And intercepted it. And threading it through. But it wasn't a taxing save. Well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far and the attacking play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders because they've dominated here today. Really good challenge. No way through! Dylan Bakwa. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. And let's give credit to the defending. And the referee satisfied it was a clean challenge. And unable to keep the ball. Well, not smooth, but fiercely competitive in midfield. Pierre Equa. Mouefek. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And not cleared away properly. Well, threat averted. Really clever pressing. And he takes on the shot. And the keeper diving to thwart it. They have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. <laughs> Playing it short. Mathieu Cafaro. A good and fair challenge. Florian Tardieu. Mouefek. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And playing it through. He might be able to make it through. Effectively parried away by the keeper. Oh, well, stylish ball. What can they do now? Well, he's certainly not alone. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. And time for the change now. Good high press. Promising position, this. Pulls it back. Well, they're going to feel, aren't they, that that was an opportunity squandered. Well, from that position, it should be 1-0 now. Great chance for them.
A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Just 15 minutes remaining. Diara. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Can he find the right pass? Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Could cross it in here. It's a cross towards the near post. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Time's running out, but these fans are driving their team on here. Oh, moving it nicely. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. And they will make the change now. That's effective pressure, high up the pitch. Muefek. Happy to shoot. And they remain locked together, these two sides, on the back of that save. Well, that keeps it all level. What an important save that is. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Playing it in. And the danger is still there. He's blocked it. Under real pressure here. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Diara. An effective ball. Well, you can see how fiercely they're concentrating on finding a winner. And the ball brought down under no real pressure. And there's the whistle. They can't be separated after 90 minutes. And now they get the ball rolling. Pulls it back. Happy to shoot. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself.